Well, hello everyone. My name is Rick Pasek, the Fly Fish Fanatic, and welcome to my tying bench. Today, a old classic West Coast salmon steelhead cutthroat trout fly. Um, the good old Mickey Finn. Uh, I like this fly so much I got it tattooed on my arm right here. Uh, it's one of my favorite uh, uh, flies for for cutties. It's one uh, in a smaller size. This one here, I, I tie this one for for um, uh, the larger uh, species, oops, larger species of salmon. Sorry, I just dropped my uh, my rib ribbing that I want to use. Um, I use uh, this one for uh, for spring or silvers. Um, they, yeah, for coho and for for uh, pinks and sockeye and stuff, I'll go quite a bit smaller. Um, but uh, for uh, springs and stuff, I, I like them a little bit bigger. So this is a, a, a partridge hook that I'm going to be using. There we go. Uh, normally I'll tie these in about a size 8, 10, 12 for, uh, for other species. 12, 14 even for uh, cutties. Um, and it's, it's, it's a pretty basic pattern. A little bit of silver holographic for the body. I'm going to be using a little bit of red holographic and a medium for the rib. Usually you use wire. I like using the holographic. Um, and then I coat it with UV. And then yellow and red bucktail. That's it. Real simple. All right. Well, let's get going. Now, I'm not a... I have never been a fan of... of uh, bucktail. It always makes such a mess. Um, any kind of deer hair actually makes them such a mess. I don't... I'm not, I've never been a fan of deer hair, but... For this fly, like I said, I've got it tattooed on my arm for a reason. It's uh, it's it's done very 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 well for me. So, and it's a such a classic little pattern. So I go to about the tip of the tip of the hook, or the point of the hook, and uh, I will add my ribbing. Uh, like I said, in this case, I'm going to use red hollow. Um, traditionally, this would be with red uh, wire. And where is the start of this one? A little bugger, of course. I'll just make a start. So, and I'm using a medium, <clears throat> medium red hollow. And I'm just gonna tie, tie it in right there, get that out of my way. Now this is a the large silver hollow. Um, I've tied this also in just straight silver, not the hollow. Um, but the ho I find the hollow is the best. I just really like the way it it works. So again, on my side, just tie that in. There we go. Catch that in. Just make sure it's caught in really nice all the way up. And then you just want to leave yourself a bit of a head space up here for putting your uh, other materials in. So now I'm going to take get my red out of the way. And I'm going to take a wrap right in the back, and then I'll just wrap right forward, overlapping wraps, keeping this fairly thin, this body. Um, whoop, that one didn't overlap very well. There we go. Uh, keeping this body fairly thin. I just focus that a bit better for you guys there. Um, you don't want a lot of profile on these. It's basically, this is a needlefish, bait fish, whatever pattern, right? It's not a. It's not. It's nothing. It's not supposed to be big. It's supposed to be thin and long and thin, right? So, um, now I'll go one turn past where I want to be, just so it's tied in nicely. Nip off my. Tinsel. Yeah, this is probably one of my top beach patterns. I really love this fly in the beaches. Then, like I said, I'll open this right up. You could even use a small if you wanted. Like I said, this is not a traditional Mickey Finn. I mean, it, the concept is, but it's not using the traditional um, materials, so. Okay, 
So there you go, there's your, your body. Now, <clears throat> there's a couple different ways of, of building your, your, your wing here. Um, and I'm gonna do it the way that I was taught years and years ago. Um, there, like I said, there's many different ways, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of yellow. And the key to Mickey fins is sparse, guys, very sparse. I'm just putting them into my stacker. You don't want a lot of material in a Mickey fin. The biggest mistake people make is they make these things bushy. You don't want them bushy. That this one is going to be a bit bushier than normal because it's it's it is the bigger version and it's going to be for like I said for the larger uh, salmon. But that's all I want for the beginning, okay? So and I want this a little bit longer than my than my hook. So about to there is all I'm going to do. So I'm just going to nip that off where I and I'm going to lay that right down, flatten my thread, sorry, flatten it and wax it. This is nano silk, so strong as borscht but uh fairly slippery. So again, just a little Hold that back just a bit. Let's get that tied in. Go back to there. That's it, just a tiny little bit. All right, and if there's any of these little stragglers like this, get rid of them. You don't need them. Uh, even if you've only got three or four, uh, three or four little strands of this stuff, it, that's seriously, sparse, sparse, sparse is the key to these flies. So there, now a little bit of the red. And I like taking the, the softer, more supple instead of these stiffer fibers up at the top. And again, not a lot, just a little bit. Into the stacker. Doing it on my hand here like this so it doesn't rattle the crap out of the out of the bench. There we go. Just pulling out any of the short ones or any of the. So again, I want that about the same length. So about there. So I'm going to cut that off again. Same thing. And I'm actually going to pull a couple of those out because I found when I laid that there, it was too much. So I'm just going to pull a, about half of those fibers out. They were It was a little too much for me. There we go. So lay that in again. Back again. And one last little bit of yellow. This time it can be a little bit more of the yellow. Actually, I'm going to take some of these more supple ones up top here on this. It can be a little bit more, but not much, but a little bit more. Instead of like eight or ten strands, it can be 12 or 15 strands, but you don't want a lot. Same thing. shorties maybe if there is any under fur not that long Up there yeah and again when I laid that on there I see that it in my opinion is a little bit too much it's gonna be too bulky so I'm gonna take probably a, at least a quarter of this out there we go there we go Lay that in there, catch those in. Get rid of any of the loose ones. Now I'm just gonna flatten my thread counterclockwise, and then I'm just gonna go through here and build just a little bit of a head. That's it, she's done. 
whip finish. Do a second set of whip finish. Then I will go through this. I just turn that so I can. I'm going to go through this with my brush just to get rid of any of the if there's any that didn't stay there. See, there's a couple there that didn't uh, get grabbed in properly. So then a little dibble dabble of good old Sally Hansen's. Just on the head there. Now I could have um, UV coated. I know I said that at the beginning, but for the sake of the video, I didn't. Uh, UV coated the uh, body. It just that helps um, just keep it together uh, a little bit more. So now I did get a little bit of uh, Sally Hansen's in the eye there. So you just put whatever you want. I usually have a spare feather kicking around, and I just shove a feather like this, right? Just with a little bit of fluff on it, and I put a feather right through the eye and then just pull it and it just get, gets rid of all the uh, if there was any so so yeah so there's the the classic mickey finn like i said it's uh it, it is still actually for my taste i would have probably taken another maybe that much more out of it even a bit more than that that much okay but uh sparse 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 the nice thing is with this i can grab when i'm out on the out on the ocean or whatever i can grab a couple and pull them out right i can always grab a couple and break them off pull them out if i'm finding that i'm not getting what i want there just pull them out a bit and just make it make it sparser um but you can't make it fuller so now mind you sometimes i've done the best with with one that's got like 10 strands on it so very thin that's it Alrighty, simple fly, effective fly, old fly, and it's still around and it's still being used a ton by people out there, especially in the estuaries and the beaches, uh, Vancouver Island, uh, uh, Washington State, uh, deadly little fly. Um, and probably, uh, I, I've never tried it for Atlantics, but I bet you 10 bucks, it would work really well for Atlantics as well. So, all right, tight lines, everyone. If you like that, please give her a thumbs up. If you've subscribed, thank you. If you have not, please consider doing so. Once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll be giving away a copy of my books and a, a selection of flies that I've tied on this channel. So spread the word, please. Tight lines, everyone.